on behalf of Sir and Ma'am to be here and to congratulate all of you. Thank you for being a part of this exhibition. Thank you for making it happen. And thank you to our Ryan staff, our Xavier's teachers and students for making this happen. Proud of you God bless you. Sir, in today's world, where science and technology are changing rapidly, what are the changes needed in the teaching of science at school level? At the school level, the teaching of science should follow the style we do in the laboratory. The textbooks give you information which is 10 years old. The journals give you information which is 5 years old. What the scientist does with his hands in the laboratory is the current one. So we should always be able to visit some laboratories and see the skills and practices of working professional scientists. In today's scientific world, where does India stand in the global scenario of scientific inventions? Right now, our mission is to Mars. We have corrected it and it is going up. That's a very proud moment for our space sciences. There are certain areas like the Green Revolution, we were first in the world. Then in the atomic energy sector, nuclear sector, then in the space sector, there India has a very triumphant, spectacular achievement. What is your message for the youth of India? The youth of India is whether you are going to be a scientist or a human being, to be a good citizen. And to be a good human being, you need to know the basics of science, no matter what profession you are going to follow. Sir, at this science exhibition, how was your experience today? It's very wonderful a science exhibition because uh, Ryan International Schools and Ryan, uh, Ryan Group and the whole staff and management and the teachers and the students also uh, have been trying so good. And so today's science exhibition was wonderful for the students uh, budding scientists as well as the teacher who have participated in this science exhibition. My name is Harsh Jain, Harsh Antilal Jain. I am from San Xavier's High School. Today our project's name is V Project Waste to Energy. Uh, here a sugarcane factory is placed. We are going to collect the sugarcane bagas and organic matter from fields. We are going to place both of this matter inside this furnace. Due to the high ignition temperature inside the furnace, this material is going to be ignited. Due to the high temperature, the water which is placed inside the boiler will be boiled and it will be converted into the steam. This steam will pass through this pipe and collect into the steam collector. When there will be high pressure, we will pull up the lever so that the steam gushes out at high pressure which will rotate this turbine, generating electricity. A dynamo is connected to this turbine. A work of a dynamo is to produce electricity using electromagnetic induction. So our projects, we have successfully generated 10 volts of electricity. Our project's main concept is to generate electricity using waste and not any diesel or petrol like fuels. Thank you.